In 2015, the French government indicted Baron David de Rothschild for embezzling large sums of money from British pensioners from 2005 to 2008 and for the violation of inheritance tax laws. In June of 2015, Paris-based judge Javier Bermudez ruled that Baron Rothschild of the Rothschild Financial Services Group must face a trial for his crimes, that is, if they can find him in one of his many mansions scattered around France. Now the French government has opened another investigation into the Swiss Rothschilds unit. Bloomberg reports, the Swiss unit of Edmund de Rothschild said it's the subject of a French probe regarding a former business relationship managed by a former employee. Edmund de Rothschild is actively participating in the criminal investigation underway, the Geneva-based bank said in an emailed statement on Friday. Edmund de Rothschild, a private banking and asset management firm established in Paris in 1953, oversees about 150 billion euros, or $164 billion, and is led today by Baron Benjamin de Rothschild and his wife Ariane. From a Haaretz interview six years ago, Baron Benjamin de Rothschild was quoted as saying, the United States is finished, at least for the moment, and I do not believe in God. I do not report to him. The Rothschild family is so wealthy, they don't regularly appear on any Forbes list of the world's wealthiest, and when they do, their true wealth is minimized. Their fortune would embarrassingly dwarf the multi-billions of Bill Gates or Warren Buffett. The Rothschild story is precariously embedded in the footnotes of world history. Nathan Rothschild became the largest debtor to the Bank of England until the bank was privatized in 1946. However, although the Bank of England is state-owned, 97% of the UK's money supply is still privately controlled in the form of interest-bearing loans created by the Rothschild-dominated commercial banks. The Rothschild's modern manipulation of the British economy is clearly evident in this clip, demonstrating Queen Elizabeth's inquiry into the downturn of the British economy. And he and his group here are going to answer your question from four years ago, uh, why nobody saw the crisis coming. And after a brief explanation, another question, this time from the Duke. The Queen's question was finally answered by Rothschild lackeys four years later, after the Queen personally had to visit the Bank of England to get an answer. The indictment of a Rothschild is not simply another dirty banker being brought to justice. The imprisonment of part of the controlling interest of civilization could gradually snowball, meaning a stop to endless wars, illegal mass surveillance, debt slavery, and a Luciferian cultural agenda. Basically, peace on earth. A bit much, you say. The Rothschilds finance both sides of the Napoleonic Wars, the American Revolution, the Communist Party Revolution in Russia, the little-known Balfour Declaration, the Nazi Party, the creation of the Federal Reserve, 9-11, and the wars that followed the Rothschilds own Reuters and the Associated Press and are the hidden hand controlling all media. Have you heard about this in the mainstream news? They either own or have compromised every US and European political puppet with an elitist passion for worshiping Lucifer and an unyielding obsession to decrease the world population by 90% by legal means. Means the Rothschilds are on the verge of completely acquiring via the United Nations. The ultimate advantage listen to this, that the creditor has over a king or a president is that if the ruler gets out of line, the banker can finance his enemy or his rival. Therefore, if you want to stay in the lucrative financing business of kings and governments, it is wise to have an enemy or a rival waiting in the wings to unseat every king or every president to whom you lend money. If the king doesn't have an enemy, you got to be able to create one. Yes, for centuries now. There truly has been a global New World Order shadow government family syndicate legitimizing its control over civilization, responsible for their involvement in a seemingly endless list of horrors and violations of human rights since long before any of us were even born. And yes, currently, without as much as a peep from the mainstream media, that very family is being pursued by a French court to stand trial. 
John Bound for InfoWars.com. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.